Hello, welcome to Math with Niall. Today we're learning number revision. We're doing number revision and we're going to start off with some addition. Can you tell us the first question on the board, please? 24 plus 35. Very good. We're going to use the counters. Can you use the green counters for tens and the red counters for units? And can you stand to the side and put it on the board for us? Start with 24. 10. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. Very good, night. And now we're going to add 35. Can you try and take more than one counter at a time? So count it when you're taking them from the board. 10, 20. 10, 20, 1, We want 35. Two. Oh. 30. And count out the 5 there. 1, 2, 3, 4. Very good. So you've got 24 plus 35. Can you quickly show us how you would count this up? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Very good. So you put all the tens together first because that would have been easier. So the answer is 59. Can you get 59 and put it by the answer, please? Okay. Numbers over there. 59. Put it at the top. Very good. Now closer. All the way over. Good job. Look, there's a five there and five there. Yep, that's fine. So let's do the other question. Can you read the other question first? We can't see it, so you'll stand, have to stand in the middle to read the second question. 57, take away 21. Very good. So can you use the counters that's already on the board? And can you count out 57? Same thing, green for 10s? 10, 20, 40. 10, 20. 30. 40, 50, yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, remove the other two that we don't need. Okay. Put them back on the board quickly. So we've got 57 there. What is the question asking us to do? Take away. Take away how many? 21. So can you count up 21? 10, 20, 1. Okay, you can put it to the side. And now can you count how many you've got left? 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 36. Very good. Can you put the answer for us? 36. That was actually a bit tricky. It was. Okay, let's do the next question. What does it say? Can you stand to this in the middle so we can see it or to the side? Yes. What does that next question say? Three times four. Just to let you know, if you didn't watch any of my other math videos, because one was about times, um, times means lots. So three lots of four. Very good, Niall. Now, can you use only red counters to show us how you're going to work out three lots of four? One, two, three. Three. So we want to have three lots of fours. So one, two, four, three, four. four. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
two, three, four. Very good. Can you remove the green counters from the board, please? So can you explain those three lots of fours? Can you show everyone where the three lots of fours are? So one row of four, another row of four, another row of four. Very good. And what's the answer? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then twelve. Excellent job, Niall. Can you put twelve down? Is it one or add a two or two and a one? One and a two, I'm pretty sure. Good job. So let's leave those counters there. What's the, what does the next question say? We can't see, eight. so you need to start to decide with eight. Eighteen divided by six. And what are we going to do when we divide by a number? I forgot. We're going to put them in groups of six. So it's really saying how many groups of six are there in 18. So how many counters do you have on the board? I have... From the previous question. You've got 12. 12. So can you continue counting until you have 18 in total? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Good. So you start with 18 and the question says 18 divided by 6. So can you separate them into group of, groups of 6? So 6. We want to count. We, we want you to see what, explain what you're doing. I'm making them into groups so of 6. So can you count out the 6 for us? 1, 2, Okay, so um, that's one group of six. Okay, see if you can get another group of six in there. Stand one, a bit to the side. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. And then another six. This is actually the last six. Five, six. One, two, So how many groups of six did you get in 18? Three. Three. Can you show us the three? Um, the three groups. One, One, two, three. Very good. So the answer is three. Can you put the answer next to the question, please? Three. This is our last three here. Okay. So you've got 18 counters there and next question we're going to be working with 12 so can you quickly remove six counters for me quickly can you very good and can you put them back on the board or you can just take them off and rest them on the table quickly that's okay and can you get that um that circle over there, the yellow one that's on the table. Okay. Yellow circle coming up. Good. So, can you show everyone? What's that circle, all of it? What do we call that, If you, the whole thing? A circle. And how much does it represent? One hole. One hole. And can you turn it over where I've drawn the line and tell us what happens there? We split it in half. We split it in half. And we're going to use this now to find half of a number. So I want you to use that on the board by dividing the counters to help us find a half. So can you explain to everybody what a half means? A half, like, it's not, there's not only a half in a circle, there can be half in everything. So what do we do when we find a half? 
we split something into two equal parts. Two equal parts. So we're going to take those 12 counters and we're going to split them into two equal parts. So can you stand to the side, the other side, and can you put that on the board? Put that on the board and can you use that to show us? So can you put the counters one at a time on top of it? One on the right, one on the left. Go ahead. So just put the other two on the other side and then we'll go through five, it. Six. Okay, so what have you done there? Can you explain? I have, so it's from, in reception we used to do this with butterflies. Oh, did you? Not butterflies, um, we used to do it with ladybirds because ladybirds have spots on them. Oh, right, so, okay, so go on, explain. So this is our ladybird here. Yes. And then we have to do this to make a number. Okay, so we've but we've used 12 counters and what's happened there on the board? It's split into two halves and like this part is one part of the ladybird, it's one half of the ladybird, yes. and this part is another half of the ladybird. Okay, so we use 12 counters, so what is one half of 12? Six. So you're just going to count one side one, of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lovely. Now can we do, put your answer, one half of 12 equals six, well done, on the board. Six. Our last six. And the last question, that's Says a big one. Double 25. Double 25. So what I want you to do is I want you to use the two blues over there. So what does double mean? It means two of the same. Two of the same. So I want to so put one of them back for the minute. And I want you to use your green counters for tens and your red counters for units. And I want you to put 25 on the board using one of those blue circles. Okay. So how many greens are you going to use for 25? Two. We can't see. Two. Two is 20. Can you stand on the other side please? And now you need, how many are you missing to make 25? Five. So take five from the diagram below. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now get the other blue circle. And we're going to do, because you said double is two lots. So we're going to do another 25 there. Ten, twenty. Very good. I love when you count it out so we can all hear. Now use the red ones that are already on the board. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Very good. Now can you get rid of that yellow one and the two red counters? Okay. Good job. So you've got double 25 there, do you agree? Yes. So how are you going to work out what the answer is? I'm going to count them all together. How are you going to start? With the tens. Very good. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Bravo. Well done. Yay! You did a wonderful job. Did you enjoy that? Yes. Bye bye. I'm using my 50 fingers. To so 50 fingers. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Hope you enjoyed our video. Bye!